Um, now we're on to this level. You notice that it's the overworld is patched out of the game. So when you complete a level, it goes directly to the next one. Uh, and that's probably something we haven't seen in a galaxy map before. Uh, because that's kind of what makes it cool, the, uh, the whole galaxy layout. You have an overworld. You have a choice to go to whichever, whichever level you want after you beat the first two in the original Keen 4. So um, it kind of makes the game, I guess you could say, like less non-linear. Um, I, I don't know if that, that term could apply to an old game like this. But um, you certainly have your choice of which levels you want to go to next. And if you get frustrated with one, you can go off and try a different one. Um, so with, with that really appealing kind of layout um, game mechanic there who would ever think to you know do away with it um, but it works well here um, and it's, uh, it's it's just one level to the next and uh, it just it, it, it's cool it's uh, it, it doesn't give you a, a you know that break in the action keeps you going keeps you immersed um, you don't need to oh, okay walk around the world and Although that um, the world map it gives you an opportunity to um, to um, express artwork and and whatnot. Um, actually, world maps are really fun to me. Um, but um, the only other time <laughs> I ran out of bullets. This is this is very good there that there's those guns right there. That makes all the difference in the world. That I can get these and then go back and, and stun be the next night. Um, <coughs> but the only other time I think that the overworld was edited out was in the demo of Suburb Shenanigans by Bubble Time, a project which is highly uh, looked forward to, you might say, uh, but isn't completed yet. Um, you would like beat the first section of the neighborhood house or whatever, and then you would it would throw you directly into the backyard level. And then after you def um, win that second level, then you would um, emerge into the overworld level, as it were. Um, and we've seen some really cool overworld perspectives of Keen uh, recently. Um, if you follow the forums, Levelass the uh, the mighty patcher um, she released a few kind of keen puzzle mods uh, pack keen and I think keen cube um, where you run around in that top down perspective solving puzzles um, so that was really cool um, but anyway yeah um, I really like the mirage tiles how they disappear and appear and it's, it's these glass tubes it's they, they should be in every mod it just makes me happy to see those um, running around on the top speed pipes how it, how it uh, slants down and kind of like that hill at the edges there it's just smooth looking um, this level was a lot of fun and uh, a few times I fl uh, abused the um, <laughs> the glitch where the um, those rectangular square floating um, mirage tiles um, they uh, appear solid and then they fade out and then you can't stand on them anymore um, uh, you have to wait till they emerge again then then they those tiles recover their solid properties um, but if you look up while you're standing on them you don't actually fall down because Keen's looking up sprite isn't subject to gravity. Well, that's one way of saying it. Um, so, yeah, I did that a few times in this level. Um, ooh, this is a tricky spike there. Um, I don't think it was ever necessary, but uh, yeah, this was a, a nice big level. Uh, I almost felt like I was lost. But a common um, kind of theme of 
for all these levels is is that the main path you you go through is um, is kind of obvious and the 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 paths that branch out from the main one is just a dead end filled with points um, and that happens a lot throughout all the levels especially this one so you just backtrack after you reach the dead end and you catch the main um, path and then you just here, here's where I do that glitch there. See, I'm supposed to fall through, but if you look up, then you don't fall. Yay! Um, so yeah, it's if you just find the main path again, then uh, you can progress in the level again. And yeah, it uh, it never got overly confusing to me, which. Uh, can be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on what kind of uh, difficulty uh, you want from these games. Or from this mod, some people prefer, you know, the Metroidvania. How do, how do you call it? All those uh, big levels that they're all mazes and they're all connected this way. You gotta go through this place to go through there. It kind of, I think that's probably how the uh, levels in the Atroxen realm are like <laughs> it'll be it's, it's more satisfying to do levels like that um, but it's nice to have this um, kind of sim simplistic approach to these um, team four um, uh, mods and then especially team four when they when everything is just nice simple straightforward that's it really is a bre breath of fresh air and and it's not like don't get me wrong it's not overly simple there's still jumps to make and mad mushrooms to dodge um, so I mean kept me entertained the whole way through um, like I was saying before whenever a mod is released um, you know I just have it a demo and then I mean to go back and finish it and play it because hey I'm a Commander Keen fan I, I just play all the fan games um, but I haven't gotten around to beating all of them yet. Um, there's too many to name, and I won't start now. Shame on me for not for <laughs> putting it off. Um, these, uh, it, it's really is a pity when when you're a keener and you make these key mods and they're works of art and you worked on every tile and pixel and you put it all together into this fabulous 16 level game, you know, and then you release it the big day comes and you put it out there you put it in Dropbox and you post a link on the Commander King forums and you have your announcement and you wrote it all down but the internet went down and so you just had to copy and paste it into a notepad file and you go to bed and you wait to post the next day but you can't sleep because you're so excited to share it with everybody and then you know you wake up the next day and the, the internet's back up and then you make the post and you copy well what the post is going to be from your notepad and onto the forum and you've got this new topic in your release forum and it's so great and then eh, you get all these comments oh this is great yeah i'll, I'll play it later and then uh, you you wait for some feedback anything at all and uh, no nobody played my commander keen mod no I isn't that what keen fans do no they, they don't like playing platformers that that yeah uh, that's so sad and uh, and that's why I feel bad about not playing the mods especially level access mods because she has so many and um, heck I, I haven't even beat King's Valentine Valo King yet um, and there's like a boss battle at the end and everything um, so yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to get on that. <sighs> and 